as you know, this whole build is for science. You fat ass broke my coolant reservoir. <laughs> She did not. I'm just gonna go with my gut. Next time I think I smell something burning, I'm gonna look. <laughs> Cause I was just sitting in here, I was like, hmm. they just think it's the smell. And then I saw smoke <laughs> and I was like, it's definitely burning. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Dude, she beat you. Yeah, for sure. How'd that happen? 100%. Um, I was too busy smelling heat. I'm like, oh, that smells hot. <laughs> The death of the 4L60 has begun. The Uncle Rob turbo experiment continues. Yesterday on the dyno, our limitation was the injectors. We ran out of injector. That's what was keeping us from making more power. And we got that whole Dietrich fuel system in there. So, in the name of science, we're just gonna put the injectors in with nothing else. Keep in mind, those are 1500 cc injectors. Big, they're big. Big freaking injectors. Tanner is confident that he can get them to idle and behave well, even in a regular setup like this. So we got the unboxing of the fuel system. You just told me you didn't know I had these sitting here and nope. we could have just popped the injectors in and probably made it go a little bit farther last night. Yeah. Just to see what it does. Obviously this is the whole fuel system from Deechworks that they shipped to a random doctor's office in Forest Hill. Actually, they didn't ship it to a random doctor's office. FedEx rerouted it to a random doctor's office, and I don't know how that happened, but I had to go there and pick it up because they opened it and called me, which was funny. But there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. How do you feel about Deechworks? I like their stuff. I only use them or ID. Really? Mostly, if I get to pick. That's who I would pick, so. Because I know different injectors have different characteristics, it's like yeah. factory DW tins. has good characteristics on their injectors. They spend a lot of time on getting them all flowed and Box together right what we got here we got injectors 1500 pound injectors which tanner was like oh we could just pop those in and we could have turned it up a little bit more what size are they i said 1500 and he's like do you think we could make these work i i'm pretty confident we can get them to trim on 93 but it's gonna be it's gonna be fun so we will see just because they're so big and if we do get them to trim just fine on 93 there's gonna be a lot of haters. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so. Yeah. The logic was uh, we do the injectors one time, never have to mess with them again. So everything in this fuel system, except for the pump, will pretty much carry this thing well past a thousand horsepower. Yes. But, you know, that's something that can, we can upgrade as we go. Here's the pump module. This is cool. I've never actually seen one of these. Oh, dang. So it's pretty much just like a factory style sending unit that with they return. that they build themselves so it's like correct. Yep. Like they have everything here. The entire fuel system, everything we need is in here. They and sell out things as kits like this. Another good thing about them is on their website they have a step by step instruction. Like it's you don't have to be like a full blown shop to buy this and put it in. Like they have step by step instructions on their website. I remember when I did the, I put a Walbro 450 in the Escalade years ago when I was like 19. To pull this out and everything really was not that difficult. Um, but it was kind of confusing because I'd like make my own hole and the bucket wasn't right. I had to modify it. I didn't know what I was doing. If if this existed back then, which it didn't, I would have just bought this. Yeah. Because this makes it way easier. And then you don't have to worry about using the wrong kind of heat shrink. Like I had wires come off because my heat shrink melted in the gas. Like dumb, dumb stuff like that. What else is in here? Oh, a green thing. We got an adjustable A and wrench here. That's freaking sweet. They legit just slapped another label on it and said, nope, Mitchell's not getting it. Yeah, the someone at FedEx was like, oh, fuel system? He wants to go fast? No, we're gonna send this to a doctor's office. Do need to find a 2004 and up gas tank for this because the sending unit hole is different. It's bigger on the 04 and up. And I think this, this module works up until 15. Fairly certain that it has it from 04 to 15, it doesn't change. But 03 and down is smaller. I knew this going into this. Oh, oh. Build the fittings. oh that's killer. No more scratching them up in the vise. Now I'm, I'm genuinely curious because, as you know, this whole build is for science. We're going to stick 1500 pound injectors in a freaking stock, stock, stock fuel system. And to reiterate, None of this would ever be done on a customer vehicle. 
<laughs> this is a science project. This is your science project. This is my science project, yeah. We're just taking part. Yeah, if you come here and ask Tanner to put 1,500 pound injectors in your That's stock awesome. Silverado, he's not gonna do it. Oh, this is a check valve too, that's cool. Your budget bill got a little bougie all of a sudden. <laughs> well, it's a process. It's a snowball. This is a budget build, but when parts are upgraded, so cool. they're done the right way. Yeah. Like, we're not going ham, getting things we don't need, but we're getting things that you should have. Like, good stuff, not cheaping out on a wastegate or a bob valve. Comes. Yeah, because eventually it's gonna get a nice motor, and we don't wanna send that nice motor to the moon with some Jing Chong nice. wastegate. I don't know, those I like are really nice. Yeah, That's with the logo on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought the same thing. The anodizing is really cool. Yeah. Uh, but they have a different connector. So right now I'm just gonna take a look and see exactly what these are and take a picture of it. So I make sure we uh, get the right adapter. That's the current agenda. And we'll probably run down to Summit and get them. Um, Deechworks sent the pigtails, but I don't really want to cut and do these. I'd feel better just with the pre-terminated adapter and that way for some reason if I ever want to change it. So we uh, looked up how much those adapter thingies were. I saw they were $60 and I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. So butt connectors it is. <laughs> I guess we're having an impromptu watch party now instead of continuing the next video, but. We're reading comments. Yeah, we're reading comments. We read those. Yeah, I read every single comment and they probably do too. Also, um, there's a major boost leak. I forgot to plug one of the hoses that went to the valve cover. I just, I pull it out. I meant to put a cap on it. I never did. So everything we did had a, a, a big old boost leak right off the intake manifold. So that's cool. Let's go pull this thing inside so we can get to cracking on it. Candyman's car, ready for yellow belly. His drag radials are corded. So he's back running around on the stock ones for now. Let's get this thing fired up. Oh, we got some, um, you know, salted nuts. Can you do that again? Nope. We're good. Well, do it yeah, again. Ask her to do it. Ashton will do it. Ashton, can you test this and see if it's a check valve? It's not. I mean, it is, but it's more of a baffle. It's a baffle. Yeah, that was totally disconnected from the intake manifold. Why don't Just you guys just blow through your hand like that? That's what we did. We had a like boost he, leak. It, he wasn't filming, so he needed someone to do it for film. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Test it. He's pulling it like off. a vacuum. Pad. I don't know. I tried pulling on it, it didn't come off, so then I forgot about it, and that's how this we ended up here. Yeah, you got it. There you go. Are you a wizard? No. You're a wizard, man. <laughs> Not a wizard. Just movie quotes for days. I heard, I heard you scratched the paint. Yeah, it says suck it. And Where? I wiped it off, and you could still see it. Where? <laughs> Where it still says suck it. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the right angle, you can still see it. Congratulations. This paint is pristine. I can't believe, I can't believe you did yeah, this to my perfect condition. vehicle. Don't disrespect Uncle Rob, what? because the real Uncle Rob is in the comments and he will be upset if yeah, you disrespect his namesake, yeah. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was, he said something. No, you pay attention. If you see Robert Stapleton comment on something, that is my real uncle, the actual former owner of this, my dad's brother, he watches these. What did he say? He's like, it was very good to me for many years and probably saved my life. Be nice to it. I think, I think Ashton's a little sad. He missed out on the shenanigans yesterday, so he's diving in head first on this thing right now. <laughs> yeah. It's fired up. When are we gonna get your truck torn apart? Torn apart? Or like, to torn apart to rebuild it. I wanted to mess with it today, but this is more exciting right now, so we're gonna mess with this. I agree with that. I'm sure I'll feel the same way whenever your truck is about to get done and I have something like, you know, worthwhile to do. I'm gonna want to do yours more. If you're wondering, this is why Ashton works here. He's a freaking horse, especially if it's a GM truck. Have you seen people rebuild these? 
Uh -uh. Dude, they're like oh. rebuildable, 100% rebuildable. Why they would pulled you, these caps oh. off and- Why would you want to rebuild them? Huh? Why would you want to rebuild them? They'll leak. Dude, people rather fix it instead of buying a new piece. Hmm. These have never ever come off that motor, guarantee it. Oh, 100% never. Things growing back there. What? Something is growing on the back of the intake. What are you talking about? This growth. That's that's a freaking big walnut. All right, we'll pull, then pull the big walnut out. There's <laughs> there's like 80 million of these things. They just keep. Seriously, they were. When I picked this thing up, we must have pulled out 20 or 30 of them, and keep finding more. They were in like the HVAC blower fan clanging around. It sounded like the lottery when you turn the the blower motor on. And we just pulled another one of these out like the other day. They were down there too. Where's it? Oh. Kobe, RIP. Normally you do this a little more precisely on a table, but for the name of video production, you just, you just throw it on the floor, start pulling on things. If it comes off of this thing, you can just pull it off, throw it on the floor, and start pulling on things. Most budgets aren't gonna have a table to do everything on. If you're doing it in the garage. <clears throat> yeah. But we're gonna do it. We're doing it. As authentic it. as possible. Truth. This is my. Simulated garage floor. This is your workbench? <laughs> yes. These are some hogs. 1500cc injectors. To put that into perspective, the Escalade has 2000s. And I'm making over 2000 horsepower. So these are gonna, these are the injectors that are gonna take this thing as far as I wanna go. We'll max the turbo out first. Yeah, we'll max the turbo out. Then we'll put another turbo on it, turn it up some more, and we'll max the block out. We'll be done with We're it. gonna make a thousand on this motor. <clears throat> I could see this thing evolving eventually into having its own Escalade level, like LSX block setup. It's gonna have a whole different thing. Someday though. Shout out LME. Yeah. <laughs> Make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody got like an old six bolt LSX block laying around in a building with a big LME on the front in like four hours south of here? That'd be cool. You know, people in the comments will be like, ooh, cold Texas speed. Ugh. We're, we're, we're LME fans around here. Yeah, no, not doing that. The Escalade does not have a Texas Speed 427 in it. But My 427 is way better. Little John took over here. You get a like lube up, lube up the O rings and wiggle them in there. That'll do a little twisty action, just like that. Are you learning anything? Yep. How's your candy? I thought that was. Weird. <laughs> I thought it was the weed ones. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> for filming. Your fuel rail bolting down, O-rings and the injectors, all that stuff is something you need to take very, very seriously because fires are not cool. Inspect them every time you remove them. What you doing? Uh, I'm trying to plug some injector data in for it. Will you go get the box? Yeah. So I can get the right part number? Yeah, well, I noticed on the card it actually had a QR code that said scan for injector data. Either way, you just got some live entertainment here. Yeah, dinner and show. <laughs> We get too far here. How did I magically get over there and put the spacers? How do I grow? Like I just need. To, uh, How do I grow? This just doesn't work for me, dude. Yeah. Peanut butter. <laughs> Eat your vegetables. Yeah, drink milk. As you hork down a bag of candy. That's why I, I didn't grow. Who who makes that? Sour strips. Sponsor us, sour strips. Free, Campus protein. Free plug. I can't reach. I can't reach you. I get you <laughs> tiny. Like a T Rex. <laughs> 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 that is so sad. Yeah, don't, don't risk it. That doesn't go there. Let's play you a sad song on the world's smallest violin. Or the amp fuel rail. Are you going to hand joke, by the way. Yeah. Use your imagination. I can't play the sound. It's probably copyrighted. You might want to put that bolt in. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Oh, no. I can't see. He dropped it. I can't see. I picked it up in broad daylight and I dropped it. This is why I can't have nice things. Oh, I see it now. I got it. Damn it! I did it again. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Come on. I'm gonna put the bolt in first so I don't do this again. Yeah, that's what I was gonna. Well, that's why I lost it. Ashton keeps. Every time I gotta do something, Ashton's <laughs> over there just heaving on it. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, now we gotta seat the, the base of the injectors is mm -hmm. still not. Yeah. No, so we gotta like finagle those in. You can see it. Right. It's all good. Did you oh, just touch his butt? Oh, accident. Whoa, John, she just touched your butt. Like on Nemo? On cam. <laughs> <laughs> He's unfazed. 
<laughs> I apologize. I didn't mean to do it. It was awkward for me. Well, test. with the spacer flushed down, they're not seated properly. That's weird. It actually doesn't give it enough space to go any further. Yeah. Well, while they are working on that, I'm going to uh, cut the tape off of these so we can get to the connectors easier for that part of the job. Efficiency. Apparently, these spacers were not the right move for this. Just because they were in the kit, we assumed they were supposed to be there, but they didn't fit. So, took them out. And now, we gotta take them out over there too, because it wasn't working. Hey. Cool pink lanyard. Are you in college, bro? No. Your mom goes to college. Your mom goes to college. Hey, look, he just <laughs> roasted me too. Ooh. You have a pink lanyard? No, I have mine on a lanyard too, though. Oh. Your mom goes to college. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, injectors are presenting some difficulty going in the hole. And uh, what was that? Uh, you got like a little tricky use here? A little synthetic AMSOIL to lube the O ring up. Air oil tool. Yeah, air goes, tool oil. Derp. This goes in your air tools. Hmm. But it's synthetic oil and it's going to work. So. Cool. Not an AMSOIL plug. Definitely not an AMSOIL plug. It just has to, it's just what he has and it works. So there you go. I think we'll be fine on the street. Yeah, if we do the street. Yeah, and then we could probably go to the dyno in a few days or something. Yeah, oh, they're different sizes. Definitely. <clears throat> the small one to be on the bottom. Cool. Then we'll have to cut these and change them to these. Fun stuff. You're gonna do that, right? All the important electrical stuff, that's your job. Yeah, if you want it wired like my bedroom, that's a different story. What <laughs> what, what happened with that? Tell the people. Um, I took it upon myself to be helpful and rewire all the sh** in my room. You were trying to change the light switch to a different style, weren't you? Yeah, I did that and I changed like the, like the wall plugins and all that. Like I turned off the power to like the whole house and everything, so I wasn't stupid about it. But I definitely did not know what I was doing. It still works, but what? like <laughs> the closet light may or may not control the fan and like everything else. So your fan was running for like six months, wasn't it? Yeah, until I told my dad what I did. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Torture test on that fan. Yeah. <laughs> so you turn the closet light on and your fan turns on? Yeah. And my night lights. <laughs> This did work, by the way. It did? Yes. Freaking sweet. So that's all bolted down. Now, uh, now I can get to changing the pigtails over. Nice. Now we are changing the pigtails over. Can you hand me one of them, the new ones? These came with the injectors, so this is what we're using. Just using some heat shrink butt connectors. Tanner said don't use solder because it creates resistance. Is that what you said? Yes. So, um, take the word of Super Tuner Tanner. Don't use solder. I don't know. These connectors just seem weird to me. If I'm gonna use them, I like to use the heat shrink ones or the raw ones and then put black heat shrink over them because they just are not as bulky. I just think the bulky non-heat shrink ones like look really bad. Like the ones I use in that IAT sensor a few videos back, you should go uh, check out the other videos on this thing. There's a whole playlist for this entire build. If you're new to this, you can see the whole thing from start to finish down to the day I picked it up from my uncle with stories from my uncle and my grandma. So check it out. It's a, uh, every build on my channel has its own playlist, if you didn't know. So you can binge stuff really easily. What'd you just see? I, there's smoke inside the car. Pull that, pull that fuse out of that, that cigarette spot. It keeps blowing the cigarette lighter fuse yeah, and now there's smoke coming out of there? Yep. Oh my god, dude, that's insane. We almost caught this bitch on fire just now. What's going on down there? Oh, I can smell it now. Stick your head in here, you can smell how hot it is. Here, you can smell how hot it is. Here, you can smell how hot it is. <laughs> you can smell how hot it is. <laughs> yeah, the does, does it can definitely smell how hot it is. It's not, well, let me say it like that, something. Like that. <laughs> you know what I mean. Hey Tanner, can you smell how hot it is? I can see the smoke. <laughs> can you see how smelly it is? Yeah, smell smelling here. It's gotten, I guess it's... Oh yeah, that's not cigar <laughs> smell. That's smoke. Like, what's what? going on? There's a short somewhere or something. 
What the heck? You think it has anything to do with all this? Probably. All old trailer brake stuff. It's the only thing wired in that's not factory, right? Yeah. And you oh, it was this one. Look, the wire's like melted. Oh, that's weird. What? Uh, they're touching each other. They're grounding out. You need to cut the wires. Yeah, it does unplug that them. thing. You know what's funny? I pulled that cup holder thing out to clean it when I got this thing, and that was unplugged. So I plugged it back in to see if it would work, and it didn't. Now I know why it's unplugged. <laughs> yeah, we're idiots, I know. You don't have to make that face. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is so hot. Let me see it. I can't get it out. Can I smell how hot it is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Give me a flathead screwdriver and I'll pull it out. That's Logan, like, can you grab him a flathead? Short. It's gonna be a common this is flathead screwdriver by next week. <laughs> you can smell how hot it is. <laughs> you smell how hot it's getting? <laughs> wow, you got the smallest one. It was right there. <laughs> a little nut. Here, you got the chode. <laughs> wow. That's what she said. But not to me. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely not gonna work. <laughs> I need I need a bigger one. <laughs> the that's, chode's not doing it. <laughs> that's what she said. Can you find him a bigger one? This one's not doing the job. It's not the motion of the ocean in this case. We need size. Actually, great. Yeah. Was that the side that wasn't going to work great? Is that what you were telling me earlier? Yeah, the the truck side is smaller, so I just stripped them a little bit deeper and then folded it in half to occupy more space in the connector. This one big enough? Yeah, that's probably what's been causing all the problems with tuning it and everything, too. You know, you're probably right. See? Take note. Sometimes the dumbest thing can derail you. Do you want to do it? All right, we'll show you how to do it. They already got these ones on here. Take one of these, these blue things here, stick that on the wire. It just press it on there until it, it should- it should. Yeah, it stopped itself. Yeah, it stopped itself? Yeah. Okay, then you take the, oh, well, see the insulated end? Well, so it's, it's on, and then INS. Mm -hmm. You want the INS for insulated. Okay. Put it Dude, on there. It's ready to burn down, bro. <gasps> oh. Make sure it's still seated yes. down the whole way. So sketchy. You know, actually, this And then squeeze it too. as hard as you can. Dude, what if the fuse had not yeah. blown last night? Like, we put a 30 amp in it, and he came in in the morning, and this bitch was just burnt to the ground. Then you pull on, make sure it's good. Good job. You did it. Cool. That's exactly what we need to do. Here's another one. <laughs> Here's another one. Keep at it. All right. I'm just gonna go with my gut. Next time I think I smell something burning, I'm gonna look. <laughs> Cause I was just sitting in here, I was like, hmm, they just think it's the smell. And then I saw smoke and I was like, it's definitely burning. <laughs> <laughs> they just think it's the smell. I mean, I oh, it does smell like cigars. I'm hang it from the mirror in there. I... Yeah, what is this? <laughs> it's hot. Dude, I can smell how hot it is from here. <laughs> Wow. What? Yep. Yep. Same. Same process. You just shove it in there and squeeze it. Wait. You gotta. You gotta pull the black ends off first. Oh. See how that's like pre-stripped? Yeah. You just just pull it off with your finger. Oh. It's like it's like pre-cut already. Yeah. There you go. If you shoved it in there and did it with that. I was like, why is it so much thicker? That's what she said. <laughs> she didn't say it that time. Just saying. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? No, it's not making noises. It's taking forever. <laughs> you like, I left the, my uncle's Harley Davidson seatbelt thingy on here. Yeah, your uncle has obviously back issues too. Like, there's so much support. <laughs> that like, might have been me that put that there. Like, as soon as you turn it on, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was me. You need to go see a doctor. Got that one on. Nope, it's there. It's gonna come off. No, it's not. It's freaking great. And you even you even crimped it with both the crimps at the same plane. You know, some people they'll, they'll crimp one this way and then one that way, and then they're like, er, er, they're not yeah, lined up. Annoying. Yeah, you did it. You did it. I didn't even have to tell you to do that. You just did it. Good job. You want to do the next one now? Sure. You have to strip that one. You have to do the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to cut this. 
you need this the or this yeah yeah that that one this one how does it smell Ooh. this one smells like it's not too hot <laughs> <laughs> this one didn't get hot yet i can smell it okay yeah it's this one right here okay so yeah just cut like see where i cut this one just you know leave a little bit on here but that's all Hey yo, these do you have a uh, different color wire. Well, you have to cut it before you strip it. Well, what, how, what do I cut it with? The back side, the deep part, that's the cutting part. Devin and everybody will see that. See what? What I said. What'd you say? Yeah, how it smells hot. <laughs> <laughs> so you got it stripped? Mm -hmm. Um, When I did those, I took these since they're a little bit thinner than the other ones, and I folded them in half. It's like I folded it backwards over itself to make the to make it thicker inside the connector. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. This is still your battery too. I need to get a battery. <laughs> we're just keeping it charged for you. Right. Keep her going, nice Keep. and steady. <laughs> right, we're gonna use a heat gun to use the shrink wrap on there instead of an open flame, because let me know if you guys do this too. When you got an open flame and you're like heating stuff. You get greedy and you melt things. At least I do. Because I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to put it on there and make it hotter and then it starts to melt or it catches on fire or I do something stupid with it. How's it going over there? I got it finally. Is that the last one or is there one more? Oh, there's one more for that. What? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, no. I'm blind. I guess I'm gonna put this back before we do something stupid with it. That's a weird heat gun. This is from the um, Littlefield. What do they do with those? Those uh, that plastic lining they put in the ground when they dig the hole to hold the water, and mm. seal the plastic together with this. Really? Yeah. So is that John's heat gun? Yes. That makes a lot of sense. John's other company. Yeah. Yep, that is the last one. You see how much better those look than the regular, like, non heat shrink ones? Dude. You shouldn't even make the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> so ugly. What'd you do? It just cut weird. Oh. Starting to smell a lot. Better just smell hot in there? How hot does it smell? Uh, it smells like normal temperature. Getting hot for sure. We're almost done. Huh? Although. Logan's doing the pigtails on the other side. So if we have a misfire on that side. Yeah. <laughs> the closet light may or may not control the fan and like everything else. <laughs> what a dummy. I didn't even crunch the tail. Who's the real professional? <laughs> that would be me. Smelling heat from the hood. Is your side all done? No, I just need the crimping. Uh, oh. I'm waiting. Thank you. <laughs> You need to uh, keep, keep a, a count, like one of those counts, whenever something happens all the time in the video. Yeah. And watch how many times Little John says, in theory. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to watch this video and get all self-conscious about it and then not do it anymore. I told him, I was like, dude, you say that in theory is your favorite thing to say at the shop. Finished. He can use it in any sentence. <laughs> <laughs> For any situation. Feel good on that side? I need the uh, crimper. Yeah. Thank you. Did she beat you? Yeah, for sure. How'd that happen? 100%. Um, I was too busy smelling heat. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, we can heat shrink those ones up. Every time I say that, I think you're like sniffing chicken wings. Not like... <laughs> <laughs> How do you conjure that up? You can smell the hot sauce. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Not like oh, that smells hot. <laughs> do you want to heat shrink them? You hold it this way, you'll heat the whole thing. Uh, like on. this? Hold, hold, like, it's like a fan pattern. It's yeah. a wide pattern, yeah, yeah, like that. The cool part is, once these are done, we're done with the injectors. We don't have to do that. For the rest of the fuel system, it'll just be finding a tank, putting that sending unit in the tank, and making some lines pretty much. A little bit of wiring, but not too bad. We'll, we'll probably throw it up on the lift 
to do that stuff just because we can. In the meantime, I'm going to be piecing together the things I need for the 480 conversion, like the uh, the input planetary for the transfer case, because uh, the output on the 4L60 is 26 spline, and the 4L80 is 28 spline, so you got to change that. Uh, I need a flex plate and a converter and some fittings to make the cooler lines AN so we can hook them up to Cole's uh, super neat transmission cooler install right there. How's the shrinking going? Good. This thing just looks like some something fierce. Made in Switzerland. Man, this thing is a serious piece of machinery. All, all that machinery you got there. A fun fact, I am a, a nice percentage Swiss ancestry. Really? Yeah. Did you do that like Ancestry.com thing? I did. Really? Yeah. What all did you get on your pie chart? Um, 69% mother <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As soon as you said 69, I knew it was going to be a joke. <laughs> <laughs> looks like we're all done here. Now we just got to plug everything back in and get Tanner to shut his TikTok off. We get to do some tuning. Nice little extra wire length now, that's for sure. Looks a little goofy, but you know, it'll buff. You think it's gonna like run all weird? Possibly, we will see. We all watch for leaks. These are big injectors. Check for fuel leaks. How'd this get? Did you sit on this? Quite possibly. <laughs> Logan sat on the coolant reservoir and pulled itself out of the fender. Did you fix it? Yep. You fat ass broke my coolant reservoir. You did not. Can't wait to see the comments on that. Yep. <laughs> what? That was rude. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. you picked it up at Blood Dayway and you sat on it. It's okay, you can sit on it. <laughs> it's alive. Just checking for fuel leaks, as you should when you first put something back together. They're 1500cc injectors, like stock motor, just turbo, and it's trimming fuel at idle perfectly. Haters gonna hate. They are. Deech works. Deech works. Would all 1500cc injectors do this or good ones? Good ones and good data. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know how HP tuners works. You know those injectors you wired are working perfectly fine. Yeah. You did it right. Cool. It's not like my room. <laughs> nope, the fan's not on this time. She's gonna take a massive dump or something. Probably if I had to guess. All right, let's go. Oh, by the way, that's the 4L80 for it right there. Just waiting. Here's the injectors. Yeah. Isn't that loud? Yeah, they're very loud. Big boy injectors. It sounds like valve train almost. Does anything smell hot? Not anymore, no. <laughs> anything smell hot under there? No. Good. Ashton did, did all the smelling. Nothing smells hot. I think we're good to go. We're just waiting for Tanner to have fun playing race car in there. No, it's not making noises. It's <laughs> taking forever. Then we're gonna go drive this thing. We gotta get the ethanol mixed up in here, so we'll just start shaking it. <laughs> you must be this tall to ride this ride. <laughs> And when Tanner gets in the zone, he just goes. I didn't even know where he went. What are you doing? Driving, I don't know. Did it work? Sure. You won't do a burnout still. <laughs> well, it just doesn't have enough vacuum. It like pushes through the brakes. We'll see if we can fix that. You know what that means. I feel a little, it's like a little like <laughs> Yeah, stuff. We'll, we'll get past that. Yeah. Try to do a burnout. If you can, just try it right here, see if it works. Yeah, it's just, out. it just doesn't have enough nut out of boost. Yeah. Let's go try to do some rolling into it. Okay. I'm just gonna watch fuel, fuel right now once you actually go wide open throttle. It didn't want to move either. I don't know if it was 
not moving because it was lean or because transmission was like, nah, dog. Nah, it's because it was lean. Okay, <laughs> cool. Does that look better on the screen? Yeah, you can actually see you now. I feel like it's more powerful going slower than it was yesterday. Like it's more, more there. So you're adding fuel to it. Uh, right now I'm at trans pressure. The death of the 4L60 has begun. He's not dead. He's not dying. But he's not happy either. I think. How is uh, how's Ruger doing? He's unamused. I think he really doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> but we're having some issues getting the tune to flash now, which is weird. What did you do? Oink, oink. Open the door. Oh, found out. What the heck? I hate this thing now. <laughs> so we're stuck here. Yeah. Oh my god. It is going so good. It's riding. Oh, finally. Close call. We almost got stuck here. I'm just gonna sit right here. I'm not gonna open the door or nothing because this ECU is temperamental. Oh, he's licking his dick again. <laughs> he's not wearing a diaper, that's why. Yeah, his belly band you prevents him touching yeah. it. For those of you asking why the dog has a diaper, it's because he'll freaking gobble his dick down all the time and it's really annoying. So I gotta plug the fans back in. Somebody said their P59 ECM was weird and wouldn't flash unless the door was open. And we were sitting here, it wasn't flashing. I'm like, let me try it with the door open, just because that guy said. I open the door and it is flashing. How about that? <laughs> it's so weird. I'll take it though. I mean, okay, so we're gonna make one more rip, and as long as it stays together, we're gonna be done so we can put the second lot dyno tomorrow and see how much power it'll actually make. Tell you what, I know you can't feel it on your butt dyno in the camera, but that one pull we did felt good. It felt it felt like it was significantly faster than it was yesterday. It wouldn't make the one two shift. It did not, it did not want to shift. <laughs> I felt it like try it, I felt it not try to and I let off and then I'm like okay look we have a second to grab and then we'll try to get back in it and it was just like it eh, no it feels quick though I feel flare mom come pick me up I'm scared I've ever seen it 
go in my Duramax. That was quick. This thing's quick. We're. I think we should put this thing away and put it on the dyno because I, we're going to see a number in the well into the fours. Yeah. For sure. And it's making, it's letting us go past 4,000 RPMs now, so. Yeah, it went all the way up to six, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> for science, we just put injectors into this thing that are worth almost as much as it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's making 500. I bet we make 700 with some, with some boost. On this fuel pump? Uh, maybe not on this fuel pump, <laughs> but on this fuel pump, 500 for sure. I think I think we could see that. That felt fast. Yeah. I've driven enough of these things to know that they're that that they're really slow. Go and, left a little bit. And this felt fast. Yeah, I don't want to run over my bead locks. Faster than the Duramax? Yeah. Yeah. You're just saying that to make me happy. No. Yep. There's a. The Duramax is just cooler. Oh. Not for long. Okay. Could not get Uncle Rob on the dyno yesterday. But we're gonna get it on today. And coincidentally, we are going to go to Yellow Belly right after this. And as long as Uncle Rob survives the dyno, I'm driving him there. It's gonna happen. Today's the day. Today is the day. What happened? We need a battery. Voltage too low to read. Too, too low to write. Too low to write. Cool. Cool. So, that yeah. was a waiting game for my jump box to charge. <laughs> Great. Maybe we'll just not bring it to Yellow Belly tonight. Well, it's like three days later. Uncle Rob is still in the dyno. Tried periodically to get the, you know, ECU to flash and stuff. Even with the full drum pack, it's still not wanting to do it. Uh, the battery connection just doesn't want to be good and I'm pretty sure it's because the actual bolts that go into the battery The threads are just rounded off and stripped out from being on and off so many times over the years uh, Pretty sure it just needs any of those but Haven't figured that out yet. That'll be a separate video. We still got it on here. We're not giving up Ashton's putting nitrous in Candyman's car right now because we are about to go to Yellow Belly tonight and uh, I think I raced the Duramax again. I'm not sure if you made it this far, check to make sure and see if you're subscribed, because if you're not subscribed and you watch this whole 40 something minute video, why wouldn't you subscribe? Because they're all going to be this good. They're just going to get better as time goes on, especially once we get this thing ripping. Got Ashton up in here uh, smelling temperatures and stuff. It's, yeah. it's the place to be. Mm -hmm. Make sure you go to stapletonautoworks.com, get yourself a super dank t-shirt, and keep an eye out for some new ones coming. We got some new stuff on the way as well as hoodies uh, they're on there um, they're getting produced right now i don't have them in stock but once i get them they will ship out transmission destroyer that's going to be us pretty soon and one of these 4l60 tallies actually counts for the one that's in uncle rob right now because it's going to die and it's going to die very soon uh that poor transmission is on death row and we all know it what are you laughing at that poor transmission's on death row you have something to say to the people I'm not a bitch, I just look like it. What was that? <laughs> I'm not a bitch, I just look like I'm a bitch. <laughs> if I don't want to do something, I wouldn't be doing it. Just saying. What she means is she's uh has a really, really bad RBF. Pretty much. So basically saying she loves you. You did have a good time at Yellow Belly last time we were there. Yeah. And you're going back tonight. Yeah. Maybe you'll race Elvis. It's fun. I think you're going to race Elvis. True Okay. <laughs> anyway, we will see you in the next video. And if you happen to make it this far and you like seeing the random nonsense that we do here that really has nothing to do with building anything, just like you just saw, let me know. I'll include more of it in the videos. I just try to stay on topic. Kinda. Sometimes. You're gonna make yourself dizzy. Yeah, I kinda feel a little nauseous. Wonder why. Stapletonautoworks.com. Yeah. Stapletonautoworks.com. Gotta finish with the shameless plug. See you later.